ông kích cho ông nhầm rẽ vào cả một to cái nhầm ra ca này thì thì sạm ra ca lúc đúng này cái mình phải nhảy ấy xong trình Thank you, Mr. President. Just one brief answer. Um, it was in relation to uh, interview IS 20.19. Um, uh, and uh, in relation to the witness that uh, um, in that uh, interview, he stated that uh, in 1978, uh, Nguyen uh, replaced uh, On the basis uh, of that, that appeared in the interview, uh, 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 the show. Your Honours, um, I've advised uh, Defence uh, Council um, that that, uh, that quote has come not from the, uh, the interview transcript itself. Uh, it's come from some notes that are attached uh, to uh, the interview but are not reflected in the transcript of the interview themselves. As to how that information appears in the notes, um, it's unclear. But I just wanted to clarify for the record that the transcript doesn't state that. It's in fact some notes that are attached to the interview in terms of the transition from Sunset to Nguyen Chia. And just one other matter, in terms of the implication by Defence Council that Hang San Rin is the only commander alive in relation to the evacuation of Phnom Penh, your honours are aware that our witness list we put forward to regiment and battalion commanders TCW 253 and TCW 356 as proposed witnesses, and we understand your honours have decided on the witness list for the uh, uh, forced transfer uh, part of the case. But just to clarify for the record that uh, uh, regiment commanders and battalion commanders have been placed on the prosecution's witness list, and uh, your honours obviously are um, still to decide which witnesses would come before the court. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, just to uh, clarify the issue, uh, I was working with the French transcript of uh, the notes. The prosecutor is right uh, when he says that uh, the bit we quoted uh, earlier this uh, morning are not from the interview. These notes are attached to. They are notes of an interview, as the document says that took place in Ta San Sam Laut on the 28th and the 29th of April 1999. And the original notes are in French, I believe these notes are taken by Christophe Pechot. And I also believe that this is the interview that Doik referred to several times during his testimony. With regard to um, the commanders, um, I asked uh, the witness to list the names uh, of uh, division commanders who are still alive. This is, of course, also interesting to hear uh, uh, witness statements, testimony from lower ranking commanders. The question was aimed at the division level and not the commanders at regimental or battalion level. And um, I understand that apart from Hang Samrin and his brother, uh, the two suspects of three uh, are also alive and could testify on this particular matter. Um, Your Honor, just for the record, um, the evidence on the case file shows that Hang Samrin wasn't a division commander. He was a regiment commander, and so we disagree with the defense on that point. Uh, uh, and uh, the evidence on the case file shows that we disagree indeed. May I continue with my uh, cross-examination? Yes, uh, Your Honour,
The civil parties showed you several letters. Soon met, met and wrote to you in 1977. Uh, you understand which letters I'm referring to? Don't you? Yes, indeed. That's what you stated. And you also told this court that they were not sent to you directly, but that you received those documents from Son Sen. That's correct, isn't it? This topic was also discussed during your own trial at length, I believe. And in the, the judgment, this trial chamber stated, and I would like to quote from this judgment, and I would like you to ask, to ask to react to the judgment. But this time stated that your explanation of those letters, that, I quote, these letters were given to you by Son Sen, personally lacks credibility. What is your response to that particular quote from the judgment? Mr. President. The objection is based not on the fact that the allegation has been put. However, to ask this witness to comment on your decision, it is really not appropriate that he does that. But if, they, if he wants to put the substance of the allegation to the witness, he can do that and respond to that. But to ask the witness to comment on um, your judgment, um, I don't think it uh, furthers uh, the issue factually, which we will have to decide in this case. He can put um, the, the basis or, or that finding um, as a proposition, but I don't think this witness should be put in a place where he has to comment on how you've judged the proceedings. That's not appropriate. Mr. President, I have a question for the witness. Mr. President, I have a question for the witness. Mr. President, I have a question for the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, again, good morning. Um, I disagree with the prosecution. Um, as, we, as you all may recollect, uh, we had requested uh, both from the trial chamber and from the prosecution to lay out uh, what specifics um, both the trial chamber and the prosecution believe that uh, this particular gentleman was less than honest and truthful about during the course of the proceeding in 001. Uh, we did so because we wanted to be able to confront him. We believe that it is, it is entirely appropriate to ask the gentleman to comment on where the prosecution says that they believe that he was less than honest and less than forthcoming in his previous trial, what he thinks. If he maintains that he was absolutely 100% truthful, then obviously it goes to the gentleman's credibility. The same would go for, for the trial chamber to ask for us to ask the gentleman uh, to put to him that the trial chamber found him to be less than honest, less than forthcoming, less than truthful, and for him to give his opinion. It's putting the case to the witness. He has maintained steadfastly that throughout his, uh, his interviews with the 
officer of the co investigative judges, speaking with the prosecution, speaking uh, in his own case, and speaking here that he had been 100% truthful, albeit he was qualified that on, on occasion he might have uh, drawn conclusions uh, having gotten things mixed up. Nonetheless, I think it is perfectly appropriate to put it to the witness. If we're here to get to the truth, this is the opportunity to do so through this gentleman. And after all, it is the prosecution who has claimed over and over again that this particular witness is a unique, I believe that was the word that we've heard a half a dozen times, if not a dozen times, a unique position to fill us in on the facts. Well, that's what we're here for, Your Honor. So I think it's highly appropriate. Your Honor, I think uh, the defense counsel for Yang Sari has missed the point. It's not a question of whether or not uh, the witness should be asked um, whether he's uh, being truthful. I mean, he should be asked whether he's being truthful. Um, and we don't, we don't object to that. Also, it, it's not a question of uh, whether the defense or any party has a right to put their case to the witness. Um, we've submitted that the parties do have a right so that your honours can comment, uh, you can take note of their answers on the direct points. We completely agree with that. But what we disagree with is asking the witness to comment on your opinion. If defense would like to show um, a, a contradiction or um, of evidence from the transcript of case file one to the witness and ask him to comment on that. We have no objection to that. But what we do object to is um, defense counsel saying to the witness, what do you think about the trial chamber's opinion? That's really not going to further, it doesn't put the case uh, to the witness, he put the substance um, of, the, of the allegation or of the finding to the witness, he can state, um, he can state, which I, I believe he's quoting from the judgment, look, I put it to you that um, you had significant influence with regards to the rest of people from S21. Um, he can also put other factual allegations that may have been found in the, in the uh, judgment, but he shouldn't be asking uh, the witness as to what he thinks of your opinion. That becomes speculation and his argument. He needs to stick to the facts, and his case can be squarely put in that manner, and then his answer will be more useful than having a witness uh, having to comment on how you think. Your Honour, the last thing I want to say is that um, I think that the defence counsel is being very careful when it comes to the witness statement. Uh, very briefly, because I, I don't want to waste time and get into a debate. It was precisely for those reasons, Your Honours, that we filed a motion early on requesting the prosecution to lay out exactly where they believe the witness uh, had been less than truthful. Uh, the prosecution's response was, well, of course we're not going to ask or deduce any evidence where we believe the witness was less than truthful. But they never came up with specifics. Now they're telling us, find it uh, within the transcript, which is why uh, we are in a position where we have to ask a general question. The prosecution and the trial chamber has concluded that you were less than honest. What do you think about that? And then he can answer the question. And perhaps based on the answer, there may be more specifics, but I think there's nothing uh, particularly on onerous about asking a general question, and we should not be forced to try to figure out what the prosecution had in mind when it determined that the gentleman was being less than candid in what appeared to be in my humble submission, more like a, a change of plea hearing that lasted eight months as opposed to a trial where there was an adversarial process. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm just trying to be helpful, given this opportunity to respond to the important conclusion in your judgment. 
ສະກະໄລສອນອາດສໍາຄັນໃນ ក្រោយវិបានពិភាក្សាគ្នាអង្គជំរះសម្រេចថាសេចក្តីចំទោសរបស់ដំណាងសហប្រជាជនអន្តរជាតិទៅនឹងការតាំងសំណួរចុងក
Mr. President, we haven't uh, uh, seen or heard of this document uh, before from the defence. Um, I don't think it's on the case file. Um, it hasn't been provided in the list that you provided uh, last night. Uh, this is the first uh, we've heard of it. Um, Your Honours, in terms of uh, placing new documents before the chamber. Um, you know, rule 87.4 applies and it requires the defence to um, establish why that couldn't have been done before with due diligence. Uh, we're not sure when this, uh, this film uh, first came out and whether or not they've exercised due diligence to uh, place it on the case file. And so until uh, the defence can establish um, the criteria for Rule 87.4, um, we would object to the, to the showing of the movie. Um, these trials are large trials. Um, if parties uh, just produce documents by complete surprise, um, it won't lead to the good, uh, efficient management of proceedings. And so, uh, unless that can be established properly, um, I would ask that um, this um, be shown at a, at a later time uh, until the parties have been properly notified. Your Honour, sir, if I can read I, I believe the documentary is called uh, Master of the Forges of Hell. It's a very recent documentary. Uh, I uh, would like to show this fragment which contains part of an interview with the witness. It's nothing else. Um, I want to show it to the witness. I don't want to put it before the chamber. I don't think Rule 87 applies. I'm not trying to establish the authenticity of the fragment. I don't want to uh, uh, put it on the case file. I want to use that particular fragment to impeach this witness. And I believe that I don't have to put it on the file. That does not have to have the case file number. And if I remember correctly, for example, when the director of DC Chem was interviewed or uh, examined in court, both the prosecutor and the counsel for the civil parties used the website, which is not on the case file, has no number, and we were not warned that they were going to do that, they used the website DC Chem has. And in one case, even a PowerPoint presentation from that website to examine the witness. All I'm doing is exactly the same, but both the prosecutor and counsel for the civil parties have done in the past. I'm not trying to put this document before the chamber. I'm not trying to prove the authenticity of the reliability of the document. I just wish this witness to respond to what he says on that particular fragment. Um, Mr. President, we agree um, that there are circumstances can arise where um, documents become uh, significant at a later time in relation to the uh, testing witnesses' credibility. So we're not suggesting that every document has to be placed before the chamber. Um, certainly. Uh, Council for Nguyen Chia hadn't made it completely clear for what purpose he was using this document, whether he wanted to place it before the chamber or alternatively um, just to um, confront the witness. But what we would say is that we assume that the Rithi Pan film was available before last night um, and the defence provided a list of documents um, that they would use uh, today and that document, uh, I believe, wasn't on that list. And so that was in, it didn't sort of follow the, the trial chamber's order, firstly that uh, documents be uh, made available 24 hours and secondly um, made available the day before. So we can only wonder why that one was left off the list. So it's really, it's ultimately a matter of notice and uh, the defence had this document and they left it off the list. That's why at this point, it, it may be relevant, but at this point we would object to it, um, at least until we've actually seen the document. Well, 
the reason is, is not on the list is because there is no reference number, no document number, so there was no point putting it on the list. បាទកាចំទោសរបស់មេត្តាវីបោះតំណាងសាព្រៀងអន្តរជាតិត្រឹមត្រូវមានអនុភាពដូច្នេះអង្គចម្រេះមិនអនុញ្ញាតឲ្
จึงไม่ได้ประสานโลกประเทียนจำนวนนี้เขียนปัจจุบันเตรียมเตียนจังเมนโดยโชว์เลโกลกำหนดฉบับในการบังการอวบต่อก็ได้กัดตัวแต่เนี่ยตัวตัวข้อสรุปบมพดนึ่งเนี่ยดักนอมกำปิจิปิจิตปตัยนี่คือมันก็เคยอย่างเติมเคมเตรียมตีจากนี้มันเมนทัดในขนมเนี่ยดักนอมกำปิจิปิจิตปตัยให้เนี่ยตัวตัวข้อสรุปบมพดตีพวกเนี่ยตัวตัวข้อสรุปบมพดไปเลยเขียนคือมีสนเซนนึงมุนจีไปเลยนู่นที่มีปอลปอดนี่คำปฏิจิตเตรียมตีเองอย่างไหมไอ้พูดถึงยูดอยค์ว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมีความรู้สึกว่าคุณมี And I put it to you that Lu and Shia was never in charge of S21 or gave you any orders. Lu and Shia was simply the person you decided would take the blame and absolve you of responsibility when Son Sen disappeared from the stage. Now I put it to you, and then you can react that you cannot accept responsibility for your own actions. And in fact, you are a liar. You even fabricated your own confession. Mr. President, uh, the main objection is that uh, the question is a series of about of at least five questions, and I think uh, for anyone, it uh, would be complicated to to determine what, in fact, um, the accused is answering to. What I would uh, suggest that the Pram questions be broken down to a, if, it's, if it was five uh, questions to five questions. Some then uh, the other some objection no, is um, uh, the broad uh, allegation at the uh, end uh, that uh, 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 the witness is a liar. Uh, um, that's a very, very broad um, allegation and it really doesn't specify what is he not telling the truth about. Um, the witness has testified on numerous matters and uh, just to come out and say you're a liar um, is quite... Uh, it, it's, it's just far too general to, uh, to achieve a, uh, a useful answer. So I would ask that the council break it up into five questions and uh, take away the allegation that he's a liar. Um, other than if he's got something to say, you're not telling the truth about a particular point, put that point to him. Otherwise, it's uh, not very helpful to the chamber. I follow the prosecutor's uh, suggestion. I'll split up what I just said. ហើយដឹងពីបញ្ហានេះប៉ុន្តែមុននឹងផ្ដល់វិធីការឲ្យលោកគឺមេត្តាវីដែលប្រើពាក្យនិយាយទៅកាន់សាក់ស័យថានិ
นูขนมอมลองปิลปิจารณาสมรจิกดีกรอยปีหิกีเตียงอ้อบานทวีสกดีบทธนทานบัญจบกิจปิพิษาดังดาวอองจุมเรียบานสดับปิปิจิรบาลูกได้เลยแบบนี้จำนวนปีเลือกมาหายเตียงปีมาสมิงเตียงทั้งไงนี่อองจุมเรียยุลธาลูกเมตุวีได้เมียนปิจิจิเวะเชียเมตุวีอันตรายชีดมันกูปราบปราในปิปิจังอ่อนนี่ดำไปเอาเถื่อกาซอกซายในบัพปทอนนี่ในขนมประปวนมีนอัติปุลดอกประปวนตลาคาเจตีขอบคุณทุกท่านขอบคุณทุกท่านขอบคุณทุกท่านขอบคุณทุกวิทย์เนสสังเกตุสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุวิทย์เนสสังเกตุ President, some chilo, no matter how many hundred years. Again, I think we get back to that position of ambiguity. There's two questions. He says, "I put it to you, you are dishonest." And then the second question is, "You're blaming Nu and Chia for his activities." What I would suggest is that counsel ask the question. You are not being you're not being truthful when you provide evidence of Nu and Chia's involvement in S21. Then the issue of truthfulness relates to a particular question, not a broad question. You are dishonest. Doik, did you understand my question? Doik, look, you'll see no question there. Look, look, I to 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 nung kai jum toh rabo. Nam nang sa prinya andra chiti. Ba men jum toh si ang jum reh samrai tha kai jum toh rabo. Nam nang sa prinya andra chiti mien besat dehib. สาเหตุมันไม่ชะลอยต้อมแต่หนึ่งสำนัวได้สู้โดยมิตรวิอันตรายเชิดกาเปียกระดิจงกร้อยเดบสำนัวจงกร้อยเดบลูกมิตรวิกาเปียกระดิอันตรายเชิดนวลเชิดเดบันสู้ลูกนิติลูกประธานขยมกฤษฎาสมนูระบอกขยมคือจับหลอกหายบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างท่าสั่งสิ่งที่ถูกต้องบนสมัครตรงเต็มไปด้วยการในใจของผู้ที่ถูกต้องบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างท่าสั่งสิ่งที่ถูกต้องบนสมัครตรงเต็มไปด้วยการในใจของผู้ที่ถูกต้องบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างท่าสั่งสิ่งที่ถูกต้องบนสมัครตรงเต็มไปด้วยการในใจของผู้ที่ถูกต้องบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างท่าสั่งสิ่งที่ถูกต้องบนสมัครตรงเต็มไปด้วยการในใจของผู้ที่ถูกต้องบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างท่าสั่งสิ่งที่ถูกต้องบนสมัครตรงเต็มไปด้วยการในใจของผู้ที่ถูกต้องบอกว่าขยมเลือกล้างโดยเฉพาะคุณสมโดยเติบคุณสูสมนุนี่เอาอย่างแรกสมรัยจะให้มันเอาชลอยตอบตีวิปูสมนุนนี่เอาเตียงเอาตีมุ้ยคือประมาทดอลสะใสเนื้อตะปลาปีกระหอกเนื้อตะปลาปีพูดกับดาทงเปียนแต่เลือดสะใสบรรยาตีปีเอาสะใสชลอยจีรัตพอลเนื้อถักได้สนทานเนื้อกายโยดังพตัวขลุ่นกาวีดำไลหรือพอตางดังดาวนี่คือจีสมัติกิจระบบอังจะนุ่งจุ่มเรียได้หนึ่งปีนัดปีจารณาสมรจในขนมอมลองปีกับตัวปีเธอได้ชนะทานมันจบกับพิษสาดังดาวได้เพียกี
I have no further questions, but just for the record, uh, I was not the one who used the word dishonest first. That was the witness when you referred to me. I was just quoting the witness when I used that word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I just wish to comment because we're going to be here for the next couple of years on this uh, on this issue, uh, this trial. And it seems to me that, with all due respect, the prosecution in the prosecutor himself in his opening statement called the accused killers, and there was no reaction from the bench. I think that's inappropriate. To suggest now that we cannot put to the witness uh, a general question that he is dishonest or has been dishonest in my humble submission uh, is, is incorrect. Now, it's a matter of technique and it's a matter of, of how you phrase the question, and I agree with the prosecutor that at times it's much more useful for the bench to ask uh, questions that, have, that are, are trying to elicit only one fact as opposed to compound questions. Because and then, even if you get an answer, the question is, is it to the first part, the second part, the third part, or whatever? So that's that point. Uh, secondly, with respect to the film itself, if I may revisit it a little bit, it appears to us, Your Honors, that that film was released in January 18, 2012, which would have been subsequent to the, to the commencement of the proceedings, and that was uh, in France. Here in Cambodia, when I first became aware of it, I believe it was released and shown to the public after the doik appeal. So at least as far as due diligence, it may be something for the trial chamber to consider oh, during the break. During the break, I'm making this on behalf of the, uh, for, for the trial chamber to consider that it would appear that the film became available. Granted, efforts should have been made perhaps to alert the trial chamber and the prosecution and the parties that the film or portions of it, even if it's one minute, uh, was being sought to be admitted, but I think in light of the fact that we're still in the growing pains of how to proceed efficiently in this uh, trial process, uh, it may be worth it for the trial chamber to reconsider its position and uh, consider my uh, submission as an oral application uh, under Rule uh, 87 for in particular, as I was right to point out by Judge Carter. Uh, um, may I support uh, the application made by my uh, colleague for the Ingsari team, although I maintain that it is not necessary to make such an application, just like the prosecutor and the counsel. Council for uh, the civil parties made no such application when they showed the website, the DC Chem website, to look. I think that uh, we have departed from earlier practice. We need some more guidance. And uh, just to uh, explain, when we got the, 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 the film, we received a copy of the film, uh, I believe, two weeks ago. And it took a while before we were able to access the copy because it was, it, it was in the wrong format. Um, just to be clear, I said that I had last my last question, but this afternoon, uh, Jasper Powell will ask uh, uh, some questions about a different topic, and then uh, my national colleague, who will finish, and as predicted, we will finish before the end of the day. But for, I have finished asking my questions, but we haven't finished asking questions yet as a team. Thank you, Your Honour. Our, certainly in the, what was raised by the Defence Counsel for Yang Sari, um, our concern with uh, the last question of um, the Defence Counsel for Nguyen Chia 
was not so much that uh, he couldn't put to the witness that on a particular fact or a particular allegation uh, he wasn't telling the truth because of this contradiction. Our concern was he had two questions in the one, you are dishonest, and then he went on further to ask another question. Just to respond to you are dishonest, um, that really is speculation. It's not helpful to the chamber. That was our uh, our, our concern with that uh, question. In relation to the, to the film, um, our, our concern is that it just wasn't placed on the list. Um, Your Honour said last night that documents that would be used would be placed on the list for today. Um, uh, I can assure you we wouldn't have objected if that was placed on the list today as required. The defence were able to, to do that, uh, regardless of whether it's a document number or not. Um, that was our concern for the lack of notice. <laughs> សូមគ្រប់លោកធាមលោកស្រីចាក្រមភ្ញាក់ក្រាន់តែលើកមតិ <coughs> ឲ្យដាក់ឯកសារសុំការអនុញ្ញាតជាមុនមុននឹងមានការលើកឯកសារនោះយកមកប្រើប្រាស់នៅក្នុងសាវនាការនេះនេះវាមិនមែនជា
ông chấm rẽ nâng thứ sau đây chấm rách chấm phù cao sơn sơn nô ai tam khâm xá đại miền trái nơi khung vị thiên bay thấp đồng bờ bảy hàng lư phía kia đại sơn sơn bờ thứ ông ông chấm rẽ chưa chẹt thả sắc khay cầm rứa phò tang đại ban sơn sơn nô khôn bùm ai chơi rọc ban nơi môn pil chấp đầm chấm nôm chấm rẽ nơi đầm bay ai ban chấp bạt lo lư khâm xá đại miền trái đội nì hỡi ông nhầm ra à an tha cứ hôm nay tôi tới mình ở clip pí ca anh vật đồ trầm trư nâng tiền tốt nơi bắt bánh nhát đầy miền trái nơi khăn ông vị thiên bài thập đồng bốn bốn nì lời ở lần này ông nhầm ra đọc bí xong nằm ôm nâng xong ra bí xa ngài trọng hỡi ông nhầm ra ạp bác ca xong ra nằm bí xa ngài trọng chạp bí bí nì tớ hô đầm mong Mùi xa mẹ xa mẹ tìm rồi xíu là xong mình chơi chỗ bình dạy bình tỏ cái chùm đại ca xa mẹ ca Anh rồi đẹp tìm không khen anh chơi như xa xây từ căn bình tục rung trăm tầm bẹp và xa xây hay nâng ôi anh chơi quát một căn Cả lấy bắt đầu ta khai căm được không bình tục xa mẹ ca này nơi rồi xíu này Nơi mong mùi xa mẹ xa mẹ tìm Xong chơi lúc mẹ tìm vì Michael Passman Xong chơi lúc mẹ tìm vì Michael Passman Con có đây được bảo khi ông xong lẹt bằng sật Quận thầm miên nữ Nóng thì nê hạt phí xong Chúng biết thác quật Từ tạm đàn xa vân ác ca Nói con ông bật tục hàng khá rõm Pi châm ngài lục thiền xong chà nà Bà hãy bàn thân lập tâm nà xong Đó bà Chuyên chập chào nôn chia Để bàn thờ làng tham dạng mê tử vi ca Pi kê đây bỏ quật Xong lẹt bằng sật Mình chô rùm tốt Nóng cách châm nà ca xa vân ác ca nơi nơi khăn ông bản tục sản ma ca này đời sông từ bản to tam đan cái chấm na ca sản ma ca tam tua vì bản tục không khôn mối nơi khăn cào bản tục sản ma ca này khăn ông đồng pil sản ma ca rồi xiêng này ông chấm rẻ đời dục prom tam tam nào sông được bảo chuẩn chập chọn luận chia đại bản thảo sông tam địa dạng mi tử vi bảo quật đời sông lẽ bằng sách mình chiều rùm khăn ông cái chấm na ca sản ma ca đại tua khăn ông bản tục sản ma ca này từ bản to tam đan cách ma ca sa ma ca pi chung ái pi bản tục khung khốn thân được hàng cầu bản tục sa ma ca ni tam địa phật phật sau tu bình mười đồ sư ni tại cầu mười tử vi ca pi cái đấy người nôn chia từ bậc cô mà oi ông chấm ra liêm nơi lịch khất lẽ bằng sinh khăn ông ca châu rùm sa ma ca đại phật tu khăn ông bản tục sa ma ca rồi bảo lục yên thủy rồi bảo lục nôn chia đời miền đất miền đại rì cờ châu hạt lệ khá chẹt cho ba pi chuyên tập chào bằng quạt oi này sau tu ต่อจบประปอนสาวตัวสำหรับจนจบเจ้าตรงนี้อาจารย์นั้นเคยจำนาคาสำนาคาปีจำไงปีบรรทุกได้เรียบจอมตำแหน่งกอดประกอบอ้อยอันดุแรมที่คุ้มแข็งนอมจนจบเจ้าตั้งปีรูปเตอการบรรทุกตรงจำคางคร้อมให้เนรุสีนี่ประกอบอ้อยนอมครวนจนจบเจ้าคือสมพรมกันประทุกสำนาคาบันมุนมองมวยสามสามสิบนาทีส่วนจริงกลางเช้า